Hello, my lovelies. Happy Monday. We are gonna play around with BoxyCharm Base Box products. We're gonna create a pretty look. I have a list of topics I wanna touch on today. Mija, it's been an annoying plus eventful like past few days. So we really need to talk about it. And because there seemed to have been confusion in the premium box, as in there was a comment saying, I didn't, I didn't even realize what was in the box and what wasn't because you use so many products. I'll just show you really quickly. In my base, I ended up getting this lip plumper gloss balm situation, a blurring veil, which is a setting powder, the La Rousse brush trio, the Murad eye cream, and the Dominique Cosmetics palette. Those are all features. Everything else that you see me use here are items that I already own. We're gonna start off with skin prep. I'm gonna use the Grown Alchemist Primer. It was actually really nice. I really, really liked her. So let me explain to you. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that Juan decided uh, about two weeks ago that he wanted to be like super, not even two weeks ago, a week ago. He wanted to be more active and all that good stuff. So I'm like, cool, great, let's be active together. And I'm an enabler, I know. So he ended up saying Sunday morning, we need to like go buy bikes. Like I think it would be great if I were to buy you a bike, would you ride it? I'm like, sure. You know when you always say, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Mm. I never truly expected for him to actually buy the damn bike. Okay, so I'm gonna pop some of this eye serum and I'm gonna show you how I apply my serum. Most people just kind of like apply it here and leave it here, but I've started kind of bringing it on to my lid. It's safe enough to go around the entire eye. I don't bring it into the tear duct area because I did it once and it burned. <laughs> it burned pretty bad. I, I kind of like going into these areas because our lids get wrinkly too. So me, huh? long story short, we buy the damn bikes, right? I had not been in a bike in over 27 years. I was freaking the hell out. Get on the bike, I'm pretty good. Came back, pretty sore, my butt was sore. Those seats are not that comfortable, even though he upgraded my seat to a way more cushiony one, it wasn't all that comfortable. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever HD Skin. I am in 3R44. And I know, because it's been so long, I would kind of have to get the hang of sitting, so I would have to break my butt in, in a sense, because my butt has to kind of like get used to being on a bike seat, whatever, fine, great. But we rode for an hour, we did like three and a half miles and it felt so good after being able to accomplish that. I felt amazing, amaze balls. So I was like, I'm looking forward to going the next time because I honestly thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna fall, I thought I would hurt myself and I didn't. So I was like, this is freaking awesome sauce. Fast forward to like two days later, we go on a bike ride and this time he thought that I should be challenged. Since I was able to ride a bike and didn't fall off, he was like, we're good. We can cross a bridge. We can go to like a park in the nearby town. And there goes the enabler again. And I'm like, yeah, we can do it. And I was like freaking out because <sighs> tie is tie. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown concealer. So riding a bike and the way that it would set up, if you can just imagine it, Juan was in the front with the GoPro on his head. Ty was on the center, like in the middle, and it was me and we were like, in a row, right? One time, me. That bridge was way harder than I imagined, but we survived the bridge. Wonderful, great. I freaked out the whole time, but I am mom. So the whole time I'm freaking out because it was literally a bridge, water on this side, and it's like a, like a kind of high fall, right? So if she falls, she would like be in air for a minute and then water. And then on the left side, it was like a two laner bridge and it was rush hour. So there were a lot of trucks and buses and cars of people just trying to get around. So I'm like, Ty tends to not listen sometimes when she gets excited and hyper. So I said, if this little girl does not listen, she's gonna go either way and this is freaking dangerous. Juan's like, you need to have faith. You need to just allow her, give her like that wiggle room, cut the umbilical cord. I was like, I'm mom, I can't cut the umbilical cord. If I cut it, she can go left onto the road or right onto the freaking water. So of course I'm stressing out this whole damn time. So I'm like hyperventilating because of this damn bridge, but then I'm also freaking out because of Ty. So she makes it by the bridge. We're doing great. I felt so good. I was like, yay, like we did it, Ty, you did great. Daddy was right, whatever. And then within, let's say, seven minutes of being back on a sidewalk. A lot of grassy area on either side and it was just like your regular sidewalk. All of a sudden, Ty's riding her bike and instead of having her feet on pedals, her feet were out like this. She's steering like this and I'm like, oh my God, are you okay? Like, are you okay? Cause I'm thinking she's having a moment. She responded, yeah, mom, I'm good. Next thing you know, she's wobbling even more. So of course I'm freaking out. I'm like, are you okay? She goes, I'm gonna hit the brakes. There was not enough time in between me saying, are you okay? Okay, I'm gonna hit the brakes and then me being able to hit the brakes, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the setting veil. 
I was trying to take half of the sticker off and the whole damn thing came out. So be really, really careful because it wasn't secure. I don't think it's, I think it just pops up. Be really careful. Oh, oh man, I showered. I got all pretty, pulled out my winter sweaters because girl, it is not freezing here, but it's chilly. It's Florida cold, if that makes sense. So it's like, 60 degrees outside and I was like oh it's my turn let me just break out these little sweaters and enjoy them while I can because by the weekend it'll be like 89 again it has a little bit of a pinky hue so I'm hoping this works anyway mija so this little girl is wobbling right boom boom wobbling I try to hit the brakes for me it's like I'd rather go down than you right it was either get off of the sidewalk end up on the grass and try to break there or I am gonna end up crashing into Ty and we're gonna fumble on each other's bikes and someone's really gonna get hurt so of course i end up picking one for the team ended up on the grass and because of the grass i couldn't freaking break i landed on my ass well not even on my side so i fell and it was grass me bike the bike landed on me it was a whole situation juan turned around and all i hear is what happened i'm pretty upset of course because i'm asking ty this whole time are you okay like are you good and her response is i'm fine until she realizes she's not fine <laughs> and because of that and her miscommunication i busted my ass I I wasn't very very happy about it and then you know in the moment and then rush hour so you know how many people were like driving around and could see me on the floor not cute not cute but once we got home and I envisioned the way that I felt, like at least how it felt, I couldn't help it. I had to like sit there and laugh for reals. I'm gonna use my NARS. You guys know how obsessed I am with this one. Look, there's a huge dent and it's pretty, pretty low at this point. I'm gonna have to get a replacement. That setting powder, guys, it has a satin finish. So it's not like shimmery with glitter to where you can see it, but it has a little bit of a luminosity to it that I don't know how I feel about it. So I'm gonna blend it out a little more and see how how that goes because being realistic I'm not hating it because it's super brightening but I wouldn't apply this all over the face I'm gonna prime my lid with the Gerard Cosmetics clean canvas in medium girl so we get home and you know whatever I'm fine like I didn't actually get hurt I come home and then we're sitting there we're thinking about it we're laughing GoPro died like the battery died so unfortunately I didn't you know, have an opportunity to check the video out. Next day, I go ahead, we put it to charge, and I'm like telling Juan, you know what? I absolutely need to watch this video. I feel like this is something that I'm gonna put all over social media because it's probably hilarious as hell, right? No. We're gonna dive into using the brushes, which match the packaging now that I look at it, and the actual um, paleta. I'm gonna use the fluffy one. I'm gonna go into Warm Hearted. I'm gonna pop that on the crease and I'm gonna build it up. So you'll see me kind of go back and forth into the palette because I want that to be blown up and as deep as it could possibly go. Girl, tell me how I turned on the GoPro and I'm like pretty excited looking for the uh, video. The memory on the GoPro was full, so we never actually recorded anything. So that freaking sucks, but it was hilarious for sure. What else did I want to tell you guys? Oh, here's another thing. I will be releasing the name of the new winner. The giveaway that I closed and announced last week i announced the winner i reached out to the winner via email i sent two dms and i explained in those messages that you know i would i would give about 48 hours for the individual to claim their prize and if they haven't claimed it within the 48 hours i would have no other choice other than to choose a new winner in the past i've waited a week two weeks for winners to claim their prizes. I'm like considerate, like I don't know what people are going through, what's going on in their lives. So I always wait it. Most people give it like 48 hours and call it a day. So I decided I need to start doing that because the longer I wait to get the prize claimed, get the person's information, get everything together and mail it out and wait till they receive it so that I announce a new giveaway, it's just delaying the new giveaway being released and I'm ready to announce another giveaway before Christmas. So what happens? I'm gonna grab the very thin brush. I'm gonna dip into the shade Jaden and I'm gonna apply that out here but I'm just tapping because I want the majority of the product here. And then once I feel like I've gotten most off of the brush, I'm gonna grab a different brush because we're gonna like blend this out. I'm trying not to work the weekends. So I kind of like let it go but I was like, listen, if this person hasn't claimed 
on by Sunday, I have no choice but to announce I have to choose a new winner. At this point, it's been like four days and the person never claimed their prize. So I was like, this freaking sucks. You know, I tell Juan, this is, you know, I feel like crap, but I'm gonna have to choose someone else, like whatever. So I go ahead and I announced it. So many of you guys responded and you guys felt bad for Emily. You know, because she didn't claim her prize or didn't see any of the comments. So I have to choose someone else, but you guys are excited because there's an opportunity for someone else to win, right? Tell me why within an hour of me having posted in the community page that a new winner was being chosen, I bet you won't guess what happened. Girl, Emily sends me a DM <laughs> and she was so sweet. She basically, you know, let me know that she's aware of what the rules are and that it sucks, but you know, she was grateful that she was chosen as a winner to begin with and she totally gets it. Super sweet, super kind. So at this point, in the spirit of Christmas, I am still going to choose a new winner in this video, Halo, but I still got Emily's information and I'm gonna send her something anyway. Cause that's just who I am and it's the holidays. In the spirit of Christmas, I'm still sending Emily a little goodie box. But that was bizarre to me that Emily reached out and gets to see the message like an hour after I'm like, I'm gonna choose someone else. I'm gonna grab a brush that I already own. I'm gonna go into the shade Corazon, which is a pale, pale nude shade. And I'm gonna pop that out here. I kind of want to diffuse how deep this is, but I also want it to like be nice and gradient. We're gonna blend it, blend it, blend it like this. Diggy, diggy, doo doo doo. It's, it's, it's a pinky nude, but on my complexion, because of how tan I am, it looks a little, on the peachy side, which still works, it's pretty. For the rest of the lid, we're gonna go with the shade Soul. And then we're gonna talk about the very last topic I kinda wanted to mention to you guys because I feel like it's part of the job and it kinda is what it is, but you know, it's like, you know these things happen, but then when they happen to you, you have to kinda make the call that works for you. And I'm talking about negotiations and kind of like working with brands and when you get to that point that you're like, enough is enough. I most recently was in communication with a brand that I've featured several times here before and I've loved their product. It's a hair product. I only really talk about the products that I absolutely love. So at this point, I've already worked with this brand many, many times. It's been a few years at this point. They reached out and part of the title was like sponsored content. So I was like, cool. As part of the conversation, you know, they're asking for three pieces of content. Cool, I can do that. But then I'm like, mm, you're asking for all this, but you're not telling me how much you're looking to sponsor it. Like, let's talk, because your title says sponsored. Since I asked, they gave me a rate and they said, this is the best that we can do. The amount that they offered doesn't even cover like my rate for reels. However, I've worked with a brand and they said they wanted to build a long-term relationship. So I said, okay, I can do the three pieces of content, but I can only attach the paid partnership label for paid content for a reels because the rate that you're offering is nowhere near my rate for a YouTube feature, dedication, that stuff, anything on YouTube. I'm gonna take this little pencil brush, I'm gonna dip it into Warm Hearted and I'm just gonna drag this on the bottom side of my eyes, like around, beginning to end on the bottom lash line. So I ended up receiving and writing a confirmation, absolutely, you know, you can do the two content as features. We're happy with that and you can do the reels as a paid sponsorship. I did all the work, they approved it all, we move about our day. I'm waiting and waiting and it's been about a week. In my opinion, I feel like they were ghosting me for several days, which was super annoying. And then I eventually get an email response in which they were basically saying, and I'll give you guys a short version, the content that I've already created was not to be paid. Any future content had the potential of being paid. And I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. I screenshotted my conversation and I'm like, okay, but my, like my contact agreed to my terms. You guys offered one thing and I offered another. I had different terms. And my terms were that the reels would be a paid sponsorship. I'm gonna use the glitter. I'm gonna pop that all over. Um, I'm just, I'm 
just gonna kind of tap it. I'm not even gonna like overdo it. I just kind of want to tap it, get a little sprinkle of glitter without overdoing it. People were asking, well, how do you use this kind of glitter? Because it already has a solution and it's a pressed glitter, you just kind of have to tap it where you want it and it stays, which is really, really awesome. I sat there and I had to really contemplate what I want to do because at some point, we as creators need to put our feet down or our foot down. I like to put both of them down, not just the one. Mm. So I had a decision to make because their response to me was that I could create three more pieces of content and at that point it would be paid for that rate, which to me is bizarre because now you're asking three pieces of content free, three more pieces of content for a rate that I otherwise would not accept but only did because of the relationship that we already had. No. You, you, you know what I mean? Like, no. No. Absolutely not. Of course, I sent an email responding letting them know exactly what my thoughts are, what my feelings on the situation was, and the fact that it is a shame that they're basically taking advantage. I have no additional product on here. I'm just trying to blend the edge because where the glitter is, um, it kind of hit the crease a little bit. I'm over it. I'm not going to sit here and allow anyone to sit here and devalue my work, my personality, and the effort that I put into everything that I do. It's unfortunate, but it's a fact, and I'm over it. And you guys know I never really talk about this kind of stuff. But this is the very first time that I feel as though a brand is sitting here trying to take advantage of a creator and devaluing the amount of energy and work that goes behind creating content. And then they want to use it for advertisement. This is insane. I'm between the Cherry Blossoms 940s or the 923s. Like the 923s look super fluffy, but I think that's way too much. And I need something simpler, which is probably why I'm going to go with the 940 or whatever. All right, girl, that lashes are on and they're doing the most for this. I look and then on top of that, I did my brows while Thai school was on the phone. They just called me. She has a tummy ache. So Juan's gonna go pick her up and then I'll be on mommy 2.0 until my dentist appointment later. I will not going on today, but it's okay. Anyways, we're gonna move right along. I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush. I think this shade is stunning. I got this in the, uh, the budget box advent calendar by P. Louise. The only problem is I hate the packaging. I squish and nothing comes up, but it only comes up when you're squishing onto your skin, but I'm not comfortable squishing this like this into my skin. You see, I don't like the whole setup of it. I don't like that it goes directly onto the skin. And I really, if it was kind of like squish and pop, pop, pop really lightly, that's great. But the fact that I really have to press it on in order to get product on, I don't like. It's it's a little odd to me. The last item I have to try out of the base box is the lip. It is a lip glaze, but I have to use a liner. So I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Mineralist Lip Liner in the shade Striking as Spice. Okie doggy artichoke. It is slightly on the glittery side, like it's frosty. It's not super glittery, it's just frosty, which I'm not against. However, the eyes are already frosty and glittery as it is. So of course this is not gonna stay on my lips the entire day because it's a bit much. It's like a lot here and a lot here. Okay, I put my hair down and here is the completed look. I think it's really pretty for Christmas in my opinion, but you can also use it on New Year's. Let's do the product roundup. The Mure Red Eye Serum. Y'all already know I own it. I love it. This is actually the one that I own. And technically when you look at the bottom, you see how itty bitty it is. So it's more of a bulky packaging than anything, but it's really good and it works. The gloss is cute on its own. Do not pair it with the shimmery eye because it's a bit much. The brushes are really, really good. Zero complaints. La Rose has really nice soft brushes that do the job and they do it well. As you guys saw, I had zero complaints. So thumbs up for that. The palette, thumbs up, zero complaints. Uh, I already said it, she blends, she's pigmented, she's buttery, she did the job. And she did it very easily and you can create so many looks with just these six pans, so I'm obsessed. And then last but not least, we have the powder. The powder was nice, it brightened for a sure. It, I, I'm not mad at her, she did a really good job. It doesn't look weird on my skin, it didn't emphasize any like mini lines that I have in between here, it definitely, illuminated and brightened. It doesn't advertise to illuminate and brighten, okay? It advertises to blur, and I think it did a pretty good job at blurring. However, it's not gonna work for every complexion because it is not 
translucent. All in all, I stand by what I said. The base box had a really good variation. At least the one that I got was really, really good. I liked all of the products and I'm so happy to add them to my collection. These are really good products that I get to keep playing around with. Now we have to choose a new winner. Are you guys excited? Because I'm excited. I'm super, super excited. Every time I'm able to choose a winner and send out a, like a present, I don't know, I just feel like a little closer to you guys. So it makes me really happy. I feel bad for Emily, but Emily's still gonna get a prize, so it's not a problem, okay? Okay, so let's choose a winner, ready? Okay. Okay, I got a winner. The winner's name is Carmen Gonzalez. She is from Apache Junction, Arizona. I'm super excited. Congratulations. Carmen, make sure that you check your emails. I see that you don't have an Instagram account and that's fine, it is not a requirement. Instagram is only like a backup way of me being able to like reach out to you and send you a DM if you don't respond to your emails. So please make sure you respond to your emails so you can claim your prize. Once Carmen has claimed her prize, I will keep you guys posted and then I can go ahead and announce this month's giveaway, which I'm really excited for too. Now that I've like shared with you guys what I've had on my mind from falling off the bike, uh, so like the winner situation and then all of a sudden I had this, you know, minor inconvenience with a brand it, you know, it's it's a lot of stuff that goes in my brain and technically speaking, you guys are my friends. So I get to talk to you guys and vent with you guys and kind of like hear you guys out. So make sure you've chimed in down below. Give me your thoughts. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and today's look. Again, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Be ready. We're going to have more try-ons coming your way and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.